Hey, it's Alicia from mobilitymastery.com and today I'm gonna to talk to you about sciatica. So sciatica is a pretty specific type of low back pain and if you have it, you know it and if you're landing on this video you probably know that already and that's why you're here um but maybe you're watching this video and you're not sure if it's you or not but sciatica is basically a pinched sciatic nerve in the back region here um always occurs on one of either sides now sometimes it can go from maybe one day it's your right sciatic and the other day it's your left that can happen but it is somewhat uncommon. So most people who have sciatica experience it on one side and it can shoot pain all the way from your kind of low back butt region, uh, hip back, back there, um, all the way down your leg. Uh, and some people just feel it in, you know, maybe the glute area. Other people feel it only from the glute into the thigh. And then some people feel it all the way down. Uh, but essentially it's the sciatic nerve that's getting compressed or pinched or is irritated and it's giving you that pain signal. And I've been working with one-on-one -on -one clients since 2008. So in my private practice working with people in pain, I've seen hundreds of people with low back pain. Not all of them have sciatica, but of the people who do have sciatica, there's been a really consistent pattern over the years that I've seen. And I wanna share that with you today so you can explore whether you're one of the people that's gonna benefit from considering that this pattern might be true for you too. So first of all, your back and your hip and your glutes aren't the problem. Uh, they're just a symptom and that sciatic nerve getting your attention is a symptom as well. It's trying to get your attention that something isn't right back there, that your hips, your pelvis are out of alignment and boom, you're getting that pain signal because your body needs your help to bring back proper alignment so you don't have to feel that pain signal. So uh, that's just low down here, you know, on a little bit of low back pain, but I want to talk specifically about what I've seen with my sciatica clients in person. Uh, if you've been with me for any length of time, then you know that I'm always saying where the pain is and the problem. And in the case of low back pain, I'm always urging you to go to your quads, your quad hip flexors, your IT band, or your adductors, usually one of those to find out where the pelvic imbalance is coming from and why your back is so unhappy and getting your attention with that pain signal. Now in the case of sciatica, there's one specific thing that I've just seen over and over and over. And that is, if that sciatica is shooting down your right leg, then chances are really high, if you fit this pattern, that it's coming from your opposite quad. Specifically, the part of your quad that meets the IT band where that junction is, the muscle junction, and the fascia there can get really congested. And then what happens is if this is like me facing you, um, and this is a pelvis, uh, so back here my thumbs are the posterior and my fingers in here are the front, uh, then if this quad IT band fascia over here gets super, um, you know, congested, fascially restricted, stuck in knots, then it can pull you either forward this way or what's happening most of the time, I think, is a potential for that. Um, and then the back seems to respond by trying to compensate uh, to pull you back into alignment. And it's either gonna be a result of the compensation or a result of the actual potential anterior tilt of your pelvis uh, that's causing that sciatic nerve to be so unhappy. Uh, I don't know exactly why this is always the case. I just know I've consistently seen it over and over and over in my private practice. Um, I'm not gonna say that it's true for 100% of sciatica cases, but it's true for the majority of them. So if you happen to try what I'm about to suggest to you and it doesn't work for you, please know this is just a potential cause uh, and it may not be exactly what I'm describing here. So don't give up, just search, um, you know, you can search this channel or the blog 
for all of my posts on low back pain and get more of an in-depth idea of low back pain generally and how to problem solve it, this video is meant specifically for, you know, sciatica and the people that fall into this major category that I see a lot. So that's basically it. The converse of what I just described to you would be if you have it shooting down your left leg, then most likely it's coming from your right quad um, and maybe quad IT band fascia where they're kind of stuck together there. So for whatever reason, it seems to follow this opposites pattern where whatever leg it's shooting down could be caused by the opposite quad fascia or quad IT band fascia getting congested. So what I want you to do now to test my theory, um, ideally, I know this probably sounds a little scary to you, but ideally you'd actually wanna test it while you're in pain. Um, so if you're actually in pain right now, uh, great, it's, I'm not happy you're in pain, but you're gonna get more accurate data by trying this uh, solution when you're actually in pain. Because what I've learned is your body will actually thank you when you do the right thing, the thing that it's been wanting you to do uh, by giving you less of a pain signal. So if you're currently in pain, I want you to rate your pain one through 10, 10 being the absolute worst, uh, before you try uh, what I'm about to describe to you. And I'm not gonna actually demo it in this video because I just have so many uh, quad techniques here on the channel. Uh, but what you're gonna wanna do is, after you've rated your pain, I want you to go to that opposite side of whatever uh, it, you know side is getting your attention with pain signal, go to that opposite side quad and really dive into the fascia there. Like explore it in the top part of the quad uh, and then off to the side towards that IT band. Uh, and you can either use my quad technique uh, videos or my IT band technique because in the IT band technique video, I show you how to move towards your quad and release your IT band from your quad. So we will link to both videos below this video in the description uh, so that you have access to all the techniques you need to try this. So you could do it from the IT band, like I just said, or the quad and quad hip flexor technique uh, video. The original one that I filmed is what I'm gonna recommend you try to start because in that video, I also walk you through kind of going on that top of the quad and then rolling towards the outer side a little bit where it tends to get more congested towards the IT band. So you'll want to start um, maybe low to your knee for, for starters and then work your way up towards your quad hip flexor and then anything that you find that's like tender, sore, tight, restricted, knotted up, adhesed, your goal is to find the adhesions. Um, so a good clue that you might find, be on one is if it's intense, if it's a little painful, healthy fashion won't hurt. So if you get on your quad and it's painful, then you know you've got something good there. But your goal with this is really to hunt out the adhesions because I have learned that it's the adhesions there that pull your pelvis out of alignment, or at least potentially your brain is kind of detecting that it's in danger and then giving you uh, that pain signal. So try it 30 to 40 seconds per spot that you find all the way up, maybe finding five spots or so from the knee to the hip, and then get up and walk around and see how you feel, re-rate your pain. And like I said, if it doesn't automatically, you know, eliminate your pain, it doesn't mean uh, your pain isn't, you know, it doesn't have a fascia connection. It doesn't mean uh, the quads are even not the solution for you. It could be coming from your, op you know, your other side as well. Um, but this is again, like I said, just the dominant pattern that I've seen with sciatica. So I want you to start there and then from there expand to try other solutions if that's not working for you. And again, this is like a one-off your best bet for getting a result. And I'm not a huge fan of one-off techniques, but that is kind of the nature of the beast here on YouTube and a blog, just to give you one bam thing you can do, right? And then I encourage you to think globally, think holistically, uh, and really try to solve that pain at its root by investigating and going after all the fascia in your thighs. Um, so I'm talking, you know, of course, quads and quad hip flexors, but also your adductors. That would be my number two. And then those IT bands, like I talked about, uh, maybe hamstrings, and if you wanna be super thorough, calves and TFL. 
Uh, and I know that sounds like a lot, but if you actually spend a little bit of time just learning the techniques, you can get through them relatively quickly. So there you go. Those are my thoughts on sciatica. Again, we'll link to the tools you're gonna need, the resources, the videos that show you how to do what I just talked about um, below this video. So give this a try and then share your experience and your thoughts below in the comment section. I will definitely be in there to talk to you guys. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe because I have new videos that go out every single Monday and Wednesday. And I also have some free resources for you if you wanna join my email community. Uh, we've got some PDF guides of my most popular techniques, including the quad hip flexor one. So if you want to grab that, you can enter your email address in uh, the link that we're going to put below, also in the description below this video. Uh, and then we also have additional free resources for you, uh, depending on when you land on this video. So I can't wait for you to join, and I'm so glad you're here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.